In this video, I'm going to show you how to send automated SMS messages using a workflow. Bottom line, using a workflow, you can do whatever you want. You are not limited to anything. So first of all, you will need to start and go to the workflow rules. And then you will need to create a rule. In my case, I am going to create a rule when a deal is being created, as an example. So let's go to the opportunities. In my case, I renamed the deals module to opportunities, and this is the name. And I will write here, send SMS when a new deal is created. And next. In my case, I will go with a new record action. Now, if you don't know how to use workflows, you can learn it online. We are not going to teach here how to work with workflows, but the majority of the Zoho community knows how to work with workflow. And therefore, this is why we created this feature. So in my case, I'm going to write that when a new record is being created, and that will be done for all the deals or opportunities. There are two ways that you can send text messages using our extension. One will be using the create record. In this case, you will click on create record. You will go to the text messages history, and then you will need to write the type. The type will be always outgoing to send text messages. You will select the person that is sending the message. Then we will need to select the deal. And that will always be the current record. Next, we will need to have or the message. And if you have the message, you will need to type the message, whatever you want. You need to say, write it here. Or in my preference, it will be using an existing template. And then you use the template unique ID. The template unique ID will be under the template messages. And here you will see that they created two of them. Of course, you can have as many as you want. And instead of using a free text, I will just use the template unique ID, which is this value. And I will paste it here instead of creating a full message. The last part will be the send SMS and you will need to have a check mark on it. And then you click on save. So this is option number one to send a message. Of course, you can also do it with the scheduled actions, and then you can create a drip campaign. Another thing that you might do is send a text message using a webhook. So let me just delete the create record, and then you go to a webhook. The name will be send message one or a new deal. The URL to be notified, that will be the same URL that I told you that you can send it this URL to a third party. So if you go to your settings and then you go to all under marketplace and then you click on installed, you will see that you have here the ABR text marketing assistant, click on configure. And then you will need to copy the SMS webhook that exists here. So you just double click on it, you copy the value, and that will be the value that you have here. Next, you will need to go down under body. You will go and click on the form data. In the module parameters, you will write two, capital T, lower Chris O, and then under the contacts, in this case, it will be the contacts, you will use the formatted mobile number, okay? That will be the one to use. And next below user defined format, you will type body and here you can have the number sign in case that you want to retrieve any kind of value. For example, A, and then you will have the person first name. And then the system will automatically will pre-populate the number sign and the values, okay? And whenever you're ready, you can click on save and associate.
And this is how you create basically a drip campaign. You can also use the schedule of actions. So let's say the next message will be sent in a day, and then you can have another webhook and so on and so on, okay? So this is how you are going to send SMS using uh, the webhook. I also want to show you how to retrieve the names. So if you want to send, for example, to including your message, first name, last name, phone number, email address, country, you will go under developer space. You will go to APIs. You will go to the API names. And under each one of the modules, you will have a bunch of names. That will be the field name that you selected yourself. While under the API name, that will be the API name that the system selected. So if you remember, I chose the first name because I did it a thousand times and I remember how it is. But in your case, if you don't remember how the first name API looks like, you will just copy it from here. And then you will need to have your number sign, curly bracket, paste, and close with the curly bracket. And this is what you will use in the future for your messages, okay? And this is a convenient way to retrieve those variables. Mm -hmm.